Hey guys, so a couple people had asked to see my video game collection, so I figured I'd show it off. Sorry it's really dusty, but nothing I can do, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, so I'll just show you the stuff I've accumulated over time. Um, I've sold a couple of games, like I sold my copy of Pokemon Y. A lot of them I haven't, just because they aren't worth a lot. Um, yeah. Like when I sold Naruto... Uh, Alt Rise of a Ninja it was only like five bucks, but I guess the first most obvious thing is that is my Vault Tech lunchbox and my uh, Vault Tech bobblehead, which I had asked for uh, Fallout 3 for Christmas one year, and my mother saw this and she just had to get it for me because it was funny. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It was actually kind of one of the two collector's editions I have that are worth it. I'm too lazy to get out my world and... Oh, no, it is there. Okay, we'll look at that later. Uh, actually, we're, we're going to start with PCs stuff. This is the uh, the World in Conflict Collector's Edition. And let me just pause. So that came with uh, the game. World in Conflict Collector's Edition. Sorry, dropped that. Um, came with a documentary about the Berlin Wall. And it came with a verified piece of the Berlin Wall. So that's pretty cool. So that was the collector's edition for World in Conflict. It also came with some Soviet um, American flag lanyards. But that was pretty cool. That was probably the only game I ever actually played online a lot. But uh, yeah, it's a nice kind of cloth uh, case for that. I'll put that together later. Uh, I'm just, I, I think I probably flashed it. Jeez, I have to wash this, but that's my uh, nerve hat from Evangelion. It's been in better shape. I just kind of had forgotten that it was under my bed. But yeah, I got that at Anime North one year. Uh, so let's just start going through them. So this is my GameCube games. I love the GameCube. It might be my favorite console of all time. It's hard to say. But start off with when I got Baden Kados. Uh, Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean. It came, uh, I'm not sure if it was a special edition or whatever, but it came with a, a CD from the game. Which is good, because uh, Baden Kados has some of the best music ever in a video game. So, excellent game. Baden Kados is kind of like one of those underrated GameCube games. I remember when it was announced, I was like, this sounds like a really neat idea. Uh, Bane Kados is basically like a card-based game. It's kind of a hybrid, turn-based, real-time. And it kind of takes place in this fairy tale world where everybody has wings and they live up in the sky. And the graphics look really good. It has full voice acting, even though the voice acting is shit. But it's a lot of fun. And then they followed it up with Bane Kados Origins, which is really difficult. It's a true JRPG. And it's also excellent. Um, if you can get your hands on one of these, I'd recommend it, maybe on emulator. Uh, they're both excellent games. This one's a lot harder. I haven't actually finished it just because it's long and hard. Uh, that didn't sound very good. But yeah, both Bain and Kato's games are good. Then we have Custom Robo, which is another series Nintendo abandoned. Uh, and yeah, so we have Custom Robo. And I got that for $5.00. So that's just a really fun uh, RPG, um, kind of RPG action where you like build custom robots and battle them. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, then you got the classic Mario Kart. You got Mario Party 7, which my sister got, I just have here. Uh, you have one of my personal favorite games of all time. I think it was number two on my favorite game list, Metroid Prime. If you can get your hands on this, absolutely amazing. One of the best games of all times in terms of gameplay, music, atmosphere. Uh, Naruto Clash of Ninja 2, which is completely awful. It was $2, and that's the only reason I own it. I was just curious. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, excellent game. Um, it's a lot better than the remake, in my view. Uh, great music, kind of one of the first video games, in my opinion, of kind of the semi-modern era to really be cinematic. Uh, then we have Warrior Within, which is not good. <laughs> Warrior Within is kind of like a harder, grittier, edgier version of uh, Prince of Persia 1. 
Like they put in Godsmack, I Stand Alone, and it's in the game without the vocals. And it's it's just not very good. And they just put a bunch of like random sexploitation in it. Uh, then we have Robotech Battle Cry, which is another one of my favorite games of all time. I think it's grossly underrated. Uh, it has a great soundtrack. It covers, I think, the first couple seasons of Robotech. And you can transform between the three different uh, forms. And it's just a great game overall. Great multiplayer. Very ambitious for a GameCube game for something of that era. Uh, then we have Shadow the Hedgehog, which is awful. We have Sonic Adventure DS, DS, DX, which is pretty good. Um, I think I got that for like four bucks. Then we have one of my all-time favorite games, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. Uh, I remember when I first got this game, I was astounded by how awesome it is. There's so much content in this game. Uh, there's three different mission types. you got the race ones. You got the uh, shoot everything ones and the treasure hunt ones. You also got the Chow Garden. Uh, this game is absolutely incredible. Um, I can't recommend it highly enough. I'm not sure how much it costs these days. Uh, then you have Sonic Heroes, which was kind of the transition title. It was better than Shadow, but worse than Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, you have my favorite fighting game of all time, Soul Calibur 2, featuring Link, of course. And it, it, it actually had a lot of gameplay in it. I found it very balanced. It's one of the few games I actually tried to learn combos for. Uh, it, was just a, it was just a great game overall. Um, highly recommend Soul Calibur 2. I tried playing, I think I have 5 somewhere here. See, 2 had this thing called Weapon Master Mode that was this really big, long campaign. And they didn't put that in any of the sequels, as far as I know. Uh, I got that because someone I actually uh, someone I know recommended it to me, but I thought it was pretty awful. Then we got probably my favorite game of all time, Tales of Symphonia, Namco Bandai. All the Tales games are pretty much good. One of the first games to come with two discs. I have the art book somewhere because I pre-ordered it. Um, just overall great game. Um, I can't say enough good things about Tales of Symphonia. I think there's a PC version now, so I don't know how good that port is, but i definitely check it out. Even if it's not the best port, it's still probably pretty good. We have Beautiful Joe 1, 2, and Red Hot Rumble. Uh, Beautiful Joe 1 is one of my favorite GameCube games. Beautiful Joe 2 is pretty good, although it's really much harder. And Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble was awful. I think I only got it because it was like five bucks or something, but it's like a Smash Brothers ripoff. But uh, yeah, so Beautiful Joe was a, was pretty good. Um, it's kind of this, it's, it's supposed to be kind of based on like, it's very stylized. It's got cell shading. Uh, it's a movie based game. I mean, it's, it's based in movie land. So Joe can speed up, slow down, zoom in, all kinds of like movie-based special effects powers. Then we have kind of some of the crown jewels of my collection: the Legend of Zelda uh, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, which is the uh, which you got through Nintendo Power if you got enough points and you submitted it. Uh, some stuff for a reward. I think you had to register your GameCube, uh, your your GBA, and two games, and you got it. So the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition comes with Ocarina of Time, the original Zelda, Zelda II The Adventures of Link, and Majora's Mask. Yes, Majora's Mask was released for GameCube. Um, so this was this was great. I mean... I was so happy to be able to play some of my favorite games on GameCube. And they had a, they improved the resolution a bit. It's not an HD remake. Then we have The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest, which has, well, Ocarina of Time, I have the manual for this somewhere, and Master Quest, which is a Japanese exclusive prior to this uh, version of the game, which has uh which is kind of a remix it's basically the same but the dungeons are a bit different uh then we have the legend of zelda twilight princess probably my favorite zelda game of all time if you haven't played it definitely check it out it's just overall a great great game i love that game 
Uh, we have Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which I tried playing. It was awful. We have Sonic and the Secret Rings, which I borrowed from a friend and never gave back, and he didn't want it back. This might be the worst, like, modern game I've ever played. You know how DSP said Homefront the Revolution is the worst game? That might be the worst. Uh, we have Budokai Tenkaichi, or however you pronounce it, 3. This was an amazing fighting game. They had so much stuff in it. They have all the DBZ characters. Oops, crap. Um, I just absolutely loved, uh, I loved that game. Then we have Super Mario Galaxy, which I didn't really like that much. I'm just not really a platformer kind of guy. Uh, then you had Super Smash Bros. Um, classic. I suck at it. We have Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, which is awful. You have Metroid Prime Other M that I never got through because it's awful. Uh, you have Red Steel, which is awesomely terrible. Uh, you have the Okami port for Wii. Okami, obviously, originally a uh, PS2 game. That was really good, but I kind of bored quit it because it's so long. And the Wii mode is just complete shit. So, while we're at it, we'll get to GBA next. So, here I have, which may be the best console ever made, the Game Boy Advanced SP. Um, it comes with a built-in battery. Let me see, I think this thing still works. Yeah, it still works. It's got a built-in light-up screen. Uh, I I could still charge this and play games on it today. I got this like 15 years ago. But this is official Nintendo seal of quality. This was a great console. And then I also have my uh, new 3DS here. And uh, yeah, it's just a new 3DS. I have Persona Q in, obviously. And I have this, this cool Zelda clamshell that uh, case that it came with okay so let's get into some more nintendo stuff i might even have to make another video this is taking a really long time i have a lot there's my uh satchel satchel kill action figure i got that at anime north one year so let's just look at uh i guess 3ds games next and then we'll get into gba so i have a bunch of 3ds games uh there's shin megami tensei soul hackers for the 3ds uh, part of the reason I have so many 3DS games is because I commute two hours a day. Also, a lot of these were really cheap, like 10 to 20 bucks. So, yeah, there we go. Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers, pretty good. I got this one for five bucks. Kirby Superstar Ultra, I thought it was pretty bad. I like this game, Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, but the, the game kept glitching and crashing before I could save. Uh, of course, New Super Mario Brothers, which I didn't like because I don't like platformers. I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey, which I rage quit because it was too hard and there was no difficulty setting. Uh, let's see here. Super Mario Sticker Star Story, which is uh, which was pretty bad. Let's see here. Now to the good stuff. We have Fire Emblem Awakening absolutely amazing game i've spent so much time playing this i've replayed this a bunch of times to grind support conversations and make a new team i love all the fire emblem games i'm maybe one of the only people who likes the modern ones uh fire emblem conquest which i bought i also bought um what was the other two birthright and revelations so i have all three of them uh, i have hyrule warriors legends which was not good uh it was kind of interesting for a while but the novelty wore off the dynasty warriors style is kind of bad uh, i just got this because it was actually cheaper than that. it was like three bucks it's awful it's just a crappy remake of kingdom hearts uh pokemon sun which i got last november it's a uh pretty it's it's not bad um it just has way too much too many cutscenes in it and it's way too kitty uh, Persona Q The Labyrinth, which is what I'm playing now. Uh, not a bad game. Uh, not nearly as good as Persona 3 or 4. Uh, it's just kind of a grind fest. And it's, it's a, excuse me, where the fuck do I go kind of game. If you notice, I have a lot of Atlas games. Uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked, one of the best games I've ever played. I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. One of the, probably my favorite all-time games, Devil Survivor 2, even better than Devil Survivor 1. Just absolutely incredible game. Uh, let's see here, we got Shin Megami Tensei 4, which I did a review of recently, which is okay. 
Uh, it's, it's not great. It's not horrible. It's just kind of passable. Uh, then we got Metal Gear Solid 3D Snake Eater. It's pretty cool that they were able to port Snake Eater to the 3DS. You'd think the 3DS couldn't handle that. But apparently the 3DS is like as powerful as a, uh, I don't know what generation that is. Uh, it's as powerful as like a GameCube or a, uh, a PS2 apparently. Uh, then we have the first video game I ever had, Sparkster Rocket Knight. I forget how much this thing is worth now, but this game is awesome. If you ever get a chance to play it on emulator, it's so much fun. So then we have my GBA games. GBA is might be my favorite console of all time, it's hard to tell. So this game is super rare. I bought it right when it came out. This is Tactics Ogre, Knight of Lotus, Classic Atlas. So this is a... Uh, turn-based strategic RPG. Uh, let me just see if the game's in there. Yeah, I have a couple games in there. Oh, I think that's where I keep all of them. Okay. So, here's a bunch of my, my old school uh, GBA games. We have Dragon Warrior Monsters. A classic. I forget how freaking old this thing is. It probably still works because it's Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, so... This was like, uh, kind of like the, the, I thought this was better than Pokemon. You could like capture and breed monsters in it, which was fun. You got Tactics Ogre and Knight of Lotus. Absolutely amazing game. So, a lot of the GBA games were just amazing. They were kind of really when, uh, portable games started being as good as, um, non-portable games. You got Game & Watch Gallery, which was pretty bad i only have it because it was like a buck and i got it and i think my parents got it at the store for like two bucks and they put it in my stocking one year one second okay you got the castlevania double pack you got castlevania harmony of dissidents and castlevania aria of solo soro i also have circle of the moon which was my first gba game i have a link to the past for swords i hated this game i absolutely despised it i never finished it it was one of the first games i ever rage quit i have let's see what else is in this box i have link's awakening dx director's cut uh this has a special dungeon that's only available on game boy color or game boy advance i have legend of zelda oracle of ages and Oracle of Seasons. Now, the story behind this is really interesting uh, because these two games had a lot of connective features. So if you beat one, you got a password you could put into the other, and it kind of added some new content to the story. And you had to beat... Uh, you couldn't beat Ganon at the end unless you were using a password from one game. So you'd beat Oracle of Ages, you'd fight the last boss, then you'd go into Oracle of Seasons and you'd fight... Uh, you get to fight Ganon, and you get, like, a whole bunch of other stuff that just wasn't in the core game. So, um, you can only get the Master Sword, for instance, in the, uh, crossover game. So, that was a lot of fun. I played the shit out of those two when I was younger. We got Mega Man Battle Network 3, Blue Edition, one of my all-time favorite games. If you ever get a chance, Mega Man Battle Network 1 through 3 are great real-time RPGs. Lots of fun, very strategic. You got Pokemon Ruby... Uh, I also have a couple other games in here. Oosh, oosh, lad. Uh, we got Pokemon Gold. We got Pokemon Yellow. We got Pokemon Ruby. And let's see. One second. I dropped something. And Pokemon Leaf Green. So that's kind of it for my really cool games. Um, I guess let's go through my N64. We got Star Fox 64 that I got at a garage sale for two bucks. I have my Collector's Edition Holographic Gold Majora's Mask. I got, of course, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You got Diddy Kong Racing, which was really hard, but there was so much stuff in this game I couldn't believe it. You got Donkey Kong 64, definitely one of the longest games I've ever played. Uh, you have Mario Kart 64, uh, 007. Wow, I have two copies of Ocarina of Time? That's weird. I must have borrowed one from someone or they gave me it. Uh, whatever. And then we have Super Smash Brothers for GameCube. 
Uh, oh, uh, for N64, we also have my Red Alert 3 Collector's Edition. And this was um, my copy of Evangelion Death and Rebirth. And End Evangelion, they had a special order of those in. I got those, like, back in high school, so years ago. Uh, let me have some of my Command & Conquer games. We have the original Tiberian Sun, uh, Renegade, Red Alert, Two Years Revenge, and Emperor Battle for Dune, a game that no one knows even exists. And we got my Tiberian Sun manual there, and my Command & Conquer 1 game box. Then we have my Sins of a Solar Empire, Bioshock, Mass Effect, etc. So we'll maybe just briefly look at my 360 games. Uh, let's see, we got Castlevania Lords of Shadow, which was awful and I rage quit it. We have Halo 3, which was mediocre as fuck. Uh, we have Army of Two, which is the most homoerotic thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we have Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations. I call these three the Assassin's Creed trilogy because they just had to keep pumping this shit out. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which was mediocre. Condemned Criminal Origins, which I couldn't get through. Crisis 3, which sucked. Dante's Inferno, which sucked. I do have Dead or Alive Extreme 2 because it was two ninety nine, and I wanted to see if this was as bad as everyone said it was. Um, it's it's absolutely horrendous. This game is complete shit. Uh, Eternal Sonata, which was okay. Fable 2 was awful. Halo 4 was actually pretty good. Infinite Undiscovery was awful. I couldn't get into it. Ninja Gaiden 2, I beat. It wasn't bad. Jericho is just kind of ruined potential. It had a lot of potential, but it turned out shitty. Uh, Turning Point Fall of Liberty was regarded as one of the worst games ever made. I got it because it was two ninety nine. dollars uh, Tales of Vesperia wasn't bad. I couldn't get into Star Ocean. Maybe I'll play it someday. And Max Payne 3 I just thought was too hard. So I guess that's pretty much my video game collection. Uh, and that's not including Steam games, of course. But yeah, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I hope the person who requested it, you know who you are, Serp. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later.